Now the play Dog in the Manger centres around the Countess of Balfour, uh, an extraordinary woman, a powerful woman, wealthy woman, who is being pursued by a couple of aristocratic suitors. She discovers that her lady-in-waiting uh, is having an affair with her secretary, uh, and she does her damnedest to split them up, to get in the way of that. Um, jealousy consumes her. And through the process, really, of splitting them up, she finds herself falling in love with the secretary herself. Uh, I won't tell you what happens in the end, but it's, uh, it's a tale of, of, of love and deceit and jealousy. This play in particular um, I find fascinating. Uh, through this character of the Countess, we learn something about how extraordinary love can be as a force. Um, her jealousy is really interesting and um, through the jealousy she has for this relationship between her secretary and her lady-in-waiting we really begin to understand something of the human condition I think and what we're prepared to do for the thing we want. Um, it's that dark heart that really it, it interests me about, about the play as well as um, just how funny it is too. It's a, it's a, it's a quintessential tragic comedy, this play. Um, it has a dark heart, as, as I've said, and tells us something uh, 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 extraordinary about love. But there are characters as well that rebound off that, and rebound off the central figures, and uh, it's very funny too. Lepe de Vega is an extraordinary writer who really goes to the heart of the human condition, rather like Shakespeare. He manages through extraordinary characters and wonderful stories to teach us uh, something of the human condition of the human heart really. Um, that's why I love him. I see, uh, we see ourselves reflected uh, in his work and in his characters. Married to that um, amazing language, a different kind of language to Shakespeare. Um, his characters uh, uh, exist much more in the moment uh, uh, than Shakespeare's do. And what I mean by that is that there is less reflection, less standing away from the moment, but actually living in the moment much more. Lope de Vega's characters live in the moment. They want to tell you uh, about themselves and what they're feeling in every moment. They wear their hearts on their sleeves. Now that's thrilling both from uh, an actor's point of view as well as it is from an audience's point of view. The character will come on stage and work something out live in front of you and I find that completely thrilling. Lope de Vega's work also um, says some very interesting things about um, uh, human emotion as well as class and class division and the difficulties of that. Um, Lope also offers us uh, incredible stories and for me um, I can marry my love of classical theatre and classical text uh, uh, with bringing new stories to an audience that have never heard them before.